This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. Our goal is to get all these balls to collect all these stars. Now we're gonna do that by plugging in equations. This has a hard mode. Oh wow, that's more of a barrier. Okay, let me start the video over again. Hey guys, this looks like a not fun one. Our goal is to get all these balls to collect all these stars. Now we're gonna do that by plugging in equations. So I'm thinking first, I wanna get this star way up here. I think we wanna use a nice parabola to get this star way up here. So for a parabola, we'll say y equals x squared. To move the parabola down, we just subtract outside here. So we'll say minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus 7.5. That looks pretty good right there. And then next we wanna make it wider. So we'll put a vertical shrink right here. So we'll say something like one half, 0 0.4, 0 0.1. We'll go a little wider, 0 0.09. That looks pretty good. But we're gonna hit right here. Let's move it a little bit to the left. The way we do that is we do a plus inside here with the X. Say so plus 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. I think that's gonna hit right there, find out. Yeah, let's go down 7.7. I think that might do it. Cool. So now the balls just went all over the place, but that's okay. My goal was just to get it up here. And it's actually really good news how they're really strong coming up here because we're going to want all that strength to get them to come back up here. So next, let's hit this star right here. I want to do that with a circle. So we'll say in parentheses x squared plus in parentheses y squared and let's give it a radius of like two. So first I wanna move the circle to the right, and we're gonna do that by subtracting inside here, minus five, minus 10, looks pretty good. Next we wanna move it up, so we're gonna do subtraction right here, minus six, 8.5. That looks pretty good. I wanna move it to the right a little bit more. Let's do 0.3 right there. So now when I hit launch, it's gonna run into the circle, so I wanna make a cut right around here. The center is at 8.5, so let's just cut it at the center. Y is greater than 8.5. Let's see what happens there. So now that looks good. It hit that star and they're coming back pretty strong. So I think we're good there. From here, I'm thinking we need to create some sort of ramp so we can hit these other stars like right here for on their way back down. They'll come down and then they'll hit these other stars. So I wanna do a line like this and then we'll put a little ramp right there. So we'll say y equals x minus five, seven minus eight, go a little lower, 8.5. Okay, that might be good right there. Let's make a cut for that. We'll say y is less than zero, go negative two, point five. So it looks like that might work, but I need to come up a little bit. Or let's give this a little bit of a tiny slope, one point. That looks good. So now what they're gonna do is when they come up here, they'll get stuck right there. So then I wanna create a little ramp. We'll say y equals, and then I want it at negative 2.5. And then we're gonna cut it off right here at 5.6. So x is greater than 5.6. Okay, let's see what happens with that. Cool, so we made a ramp, and I wonder if I can get a little bit more power out of this. That looks a little weak. I don't think it's gonna be strong enough to get up here. Let's make some adjustments. Drop this down a little bit, move this up. Let's change this. Is that gonna do any good? I still don't think it's strong enough. I think we gotta do something better with this circle up here. I think there's gotta be a better way to cut this. Let's make a little line. Let's cut it at a little angle. Um, we'll go negative one third x plus 7.5, 7.5. Okay, let's see what happens with that. Now I think we got a little bit more power coming out of there. Isn't that interesting? So just changing this a little bit, we're able to get a little more power. Let's look at it one more time. All right, so now I just need a ramp to catch those. And it looks to me like it's a little bit higher than this. Let's see how high they jump. So they jump all the way up here. So let's say y equals negative two, and it will set a domain restriction. Let's go from negative five 
to five. I don't know if they'll make that jump. They're probably gonna hit right there. Yeah, let's shrink this to three. Nice, perfect. Now we just need a little ramp right here to catch this star. So let's start with a circle. We'll say x squared plus y squared equals, that looks maybe 16, might be too big. Let's go for, and let's actually stretch this. So to stretch it in just the y direction, we can do like a 0.5 right here, uh, 0.4, that might be pretty good. So let's move it a little bit to the left, say plus one. Let's move it a little, say minus one. And then we can stretch the X a little bit. Let's give this a 0.5. And I wonder if that'll hit that star. Okay, let's cut it. The X is less than zero. It actually might be okay. I wonder if that'll do it right there. Oh, 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 that worked. All right. So that was good. That worked out well. All right, so we solved it. Here's all the equations and we have the launch right here. How exciting. I really like this one. I think it was brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, let's talk about brilliant. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the best way to learn. So just like we collected all these stars with these balls, Brilliant is loaded with activities just like this. It makes it a lot more fun to do and a lot easier to remember. You really play around with the ideas and they come to life. Building a daily habit of interactive learning is the most effective and fun way to learn math. And Brilliant is a great way to do this. If you want to try Brilliant.org, they have a free 30-day trial. You can visit Brilliant.org slash AndyMath or click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium plan. How exciting.